Dr. Mastermind, uh, those songs I originally wrote for the third Wild Dogs record, and uh, I realized that they were looking for a different singer when I met the new singer at a meeting with our prospective manager once, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, they just didn't tell me, so... Uh, I just went with Evil Genius. We uh, recorded all the songs and made an album, and uh, nobody seemed to want it. But later on, Mike Varney did, and he paired me with first Paul Gilbert, and uh, he was still in Pennsylvania. It didn't seem to work out that well. I really wanted Ingve, but he was not available, and uh, probably would have done the lead parts, right? That's That was the big plan. Anyway, I came out with a great album. I also came out with... A great friend in Kurt James, the amazing guitar player who replaced Ingve Momstein in Steeler, and he also was the first guitar player in the Project Driver that Tony McAlpine later was in, and uh, uh, and Dean Castronovo on drums. Mike Farney said, "If you see if you can get Dean to play on here, and see if he wants to move down here and be a session drummer and join Tony McAlpine's band." And I said, "Show me the money, Mike," and. He did, so we moved Dean to California, and I haven't seen him much since. (laughs) But uh, the album went to number one. It was on CBS Sony in uh, Japan and on Roadrunner in Europe, and uh, I was in every big magazine as Dr. Mastermind. The only deal was I couldn't use my real name. I I guess it must have been because I was 20 pounds from stardom. (laughs) So uh, I don't know. But it's a great album. It's got the only recorded drum solo by Dean Castronovo and, uh, you know, in the studio. And uh, Kurt James is shredding, and people have said it's like Ingve, like Motorhead with Ingve on guitar. I'll take that. So I'll see you. Matt McCore, usmetal.com, and I'll be back in a minute.